Today, I'm going to make a tutorial about how to make hinges in SFS. Why hinges, you ask? Because it can lead to things like spin launchers, robotic arms, heat shield deploy mechanisms, and many more cool gadgets that you can add to your builds. Now, I'll admit, I'm not just going to share blueprint designs. I'm going to show you guys how they actually work and tell you some tips and tricks on how to actually make your own hinges, your own designs, and I'll even include some non-DLC tips for you non-DLC players out there. First, before I explain all of that, I need to show you guys how hinges actually work. Basically, hinges abuse this thing called colliders. Colliders are what causes your rocket to not go through the ground, as well as not go through other rockets. Basically, what we're doing is we're confining a wheel within a box of colliders. By putting a wheel in a box of parts, we're essentially constraining the wheel left, right, up, and down, but it allows it to rotate still. This is basically perfect territory for making a really good hinge. The most common hinge that you'll normally see is hinges that use parachutes for the walls or struts for the walls. In my spin launch video, I used the one that uses struts because the struts are thicker than the parachutes, which means it can withstand more force. But honestly, you can make a hinge out of any part you want. The only thing to keep in mind, however, is where you put this spoke of the wheel. If it clips with any parts, the hinge will seize up and it won't actually work. However, I do have some tips and workarounds that I'm about to show you. I'll start off showing a non-DLC hinge, then I'll move straight into the DLC hinges. This non-DLC hinge I saw someone post in the Discord, and I don't really know who posted it. However, it might not look like it works, but it does. When you launch the hinge, the wheel isn't actually clipping with the parachute, so the wheel is free to move around. I also have a really good tip to make this a 360 degree hinge. If you take an extended solar panel and you put it right here, then you retract the solar panel when you launch, you can have the hinge move around freely. Now I'll show you the tips and tricks on how to make DLC hinges. For example, this hinge I made a while back uses edited struts and it only takes up a 2x1 space. The advantage to this is that it keeps the hinge aligned with the rest of the parts. If I need to redock the hinge, I can do so easily and it makes it a time warp proof hinge. Now, I know this is a really short video, but I have one last tip and trick that you guys can use when you're making not so much hinges, but robotic arms. Now, you see, whenever you have an arm and you rotate it, the rest of the rocket wants to rotate as well. This is because the center of mass isn't actually on the hinge pivot point and the rest of the rocket wants to rotate around the center of mass. However, you can fix this by taking a negative fuel tank and adjusting it so the center of mass of the arm is on the center of the pivot of the hinge. Now, when you move the arm, nothing else wants to rotate and the arm becomes pretty easy to use. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you realize you're coming back for more content, also subscribe, hit that like, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video.